Hello, Marcus Boss. A quick video, and I want to do a follow-up uh, to a video that I just shot in which a uh, mother contacted us. Her baby had suffered a traumatic brain injury at birth, HIE, and the question for her was, what is going to happen to my baby when I pass away, when I'm no longer here? And so in that video, I spoke about life care plans, and I talked about certain types of experts. And so the question is, when we are doing these birth injury investigations for families, who pays for these experts initially? When the review is being done, who pays for that? And so I'm going to explain how we do it here at Boston Law Group, but what I want to make sure that you understand is that not all law firms do it the way we do it. And you should make sure that you have a clear understanding when you speak with a birth injury law firm or a birth injury attorney as to how they handle this situation. All right, so for these cases to be able to be successful, we have to have medical experts. The law specifically, like a state, like here in Maryland, requires that we have to use medical experts who will testify as to the standard of care, what was the standard of care, and whether there was a deviation or a departure from the standard of care which caused the injury or the harm to the baby. And so these medical experts, we have to have them. And when a family contacts us and we're doing that birth injury investigation, of course, me as a birth injury attorney, I'm going to look at the records, I'm gonna look at the strips, I'm gonna do an initial workup, but also in that initial workup, I'm going to, if it gets past me, uh, then of course, I'm gonna to have to speak with and talk with medical experts on my end. And so when we're doing these cases, we will put the cost for that initial investigation. You will not pay us out of pocket to do that. This is not the case for some, for all law firms. Some law firms will require that you, you are the one who has to pay for those medical experts to, to look at everything initially doing that investigation. You have to come up with that money to be able to do that. And here at our firm, when we are doing the initial investigation for everything, that's something that we do. It's built into our practice because it has to be done. We can't, we can't move forward on a birth injury case, in our opinions. We can't move forward unless we know that we have experts who are willing to, uh, to, to stand behind the case. Now, what happens, you may say, well, Marcus, what if you talk with this expert and you pay the expert and the expert says that there is no case? Initially, during the initial workup. Well, for us, we are not gonna charge you for that. That's just the way it is. We understand that in, in these cases, sometimes there are gonna be situations in which the medical experts initially doing our investigation, they may say that, no, there is nothing here, or the doctors did not fall below the standard of care, or the nurses did not fall below the standard of care. So I just wanna make, just make sure that you understand this issue of who will pay for these initial experts doing the initial investigation. And you wanna make sure that you understand whether you're the one who's gonna to have to pay for it, or is that something that the, that the law firm is going to pay for initially to get everything started. If you have more questions, maybe you're here today because you have that question. Maybe you're afraid to reach out because you're like, I don't have the money to be able to do that. And I just want to help you understand how certain law firms, how we do it, uh, and how other law firms may handle a situation like this. If you would like to speak with me further, there is a telephone number on the screen. What I invite you to do is to go ahead and pick up the phone and call me. I talk with families like yours all the time. It costs you absolutely nothing to initially pick up the phone and talk with us about what's going on with your baby's situation. It costs nothing to do that. When you contact my office, make sure that you let my secretary let them know that you need a date and you would like to pick a date and a time, that is important, a date and a time to speak with us about what's going on. One more thing, I practice law here in the state of Maryland. I know this video is on the internet, it's on social media sites, YouTube, some other social media platforms, and I can't control who reaches out and contacts me. If you are in, if you are not in the state of Maryland, just understand that we have to use what we call co-counsel or local counsel. In other words, an attorney in your state. And that's something that we can work with you on, but I just wanna make sure that you understand that co-counsel or that local counsel aspect of things if you are not here in Maryland. All right, that's gonna be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law 
here in the state of Maryland at Boston Law Group, LLC. We'll talk with you next time. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.